Welcome back to part two of my Idols of the Realms Essential Kits. This is going to be the Monster Pack 1 unboxing. So like before, this is designed for getting people into the game. It's a quick way of getting 2D miniatures to quickly bulk up a set. It's about $35 where I am, so it's cheaper than the blind boxes of four minis. You know exactly what you're getting. However, because you know exactly what you're getting, um, you may not want to get multiples unless you really need some of them. So it's a uh, $35-ish pack where I am, um, which is significantly cheaper for the number of minis you get than a, a blind box of four. Yes, those are 3D uh, minis and they're painted. Um, but for the number of minis you get, this is a much better deal. It's a lot easier for somebody to get into the hobby this way. It's also great because with this, you have all the stuff you need to kind of start making an adventure or a campaign around. And it gives you some flexibility for one pack starting your minis collection. So just like the sidekick pack, you get two of these little acrylic sheets that have the miniatures. They have clear bases. Um, they are they have a plastic protection wrap, so we'll take that off later. Um, but one thing to note is you do not get as many minis. However, you do get some larger ones. So you have some large, you have some medium, you have a few small and tiny, uh, but you don't have the same number. But these can be used multiple times with multiple different stat blocks. So let's take the plastic wrapper off. So as you can see, none of the paint came off in the first one. So for this one, you have what look like some needle blights. You have a couple sturge. What looks like a carrion crawler. Some kind of ghost or banshee. A mimic. A will-o'-wisp. Centaur. And what can be used as either zombies or ghouls. As well as all the bases for it. The second piece doesn't have as many minis. You get a couple what look like harpies, a manticore, um, another will-o'-wisp, and some sturge, as well as all the other bases for them. As with the sidekick pack, these are super easy to pop out, although they are a little more... Um, the, the more complicated shape makes them a little more delicate to get out but again they pop out nice and easy and again they pop in fairly decently although I would still file them down just because they are a little tight now here we have each of the different sizes so we have a small sturge a medium spirit or some kind of ghost and then the large manticore just to give you an idea what size they roughly are um, I like I said I like this, you get 22 minis for about $35 where I am. It's a good way to actually get a, a decent amount of minis. So so thanks for watching. Um, at the end of this, I'm gonna have another little slideshow just like I had for each of the minis in the last video. Uh, but thank you and let me know what you think if and if you'd get them for yourself.